does is just set so uh, when we apply the fault v schools, we are technically competing with other Indians. So uh, and what I can see is most of them are from either IT or we uh, or no, this, this audience is very tired. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, so now we have to be accurate. I'm a lawyer. I just graduated uh, a month ago. But I, I I tend to take some work experience and then apply to B school. Now does it really help me being a lawyer, does it really help me to, you know, give an admission as in does it really make me different? Does it uh, different I'm sorry? Does it really give me an edge? With respect to applications or getting into a B school. Okay, great question. Who wants to take that? Does being a lawyer help you? Yeah, I'm going to take a shot. Is that one works? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, looking at the MBA admissions process, I think the one thing that you can maybe compare it to is the roadies audition. And I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Because in all the B schools, whenever they're building classes from their point of view. Every single statistic is set. They know that 30 percent are going to be Indians, 20 percent are going to be engineers. So when you when you put all those kinds of parameters together, that 10 percent is going to come from law, 10 percent are coming coming from the Medicare industry. You know they have a lot of parameters. This country, age group, work experience. So when you put all that together, you understand that there's already a certain role that needs to be played in that class, and they just find people to fit those roles. So that's how it comes from their point of view. So, for example, if an engineer has say three seats possible in a Harvard in a Harvard class, that engineer has to be unique <coughs> compared to other engineers to qualify for that class. So, coming from a law background and from a country like India, it's going to be very rare and that's going to be a huge advantage for you if you can you know show that three four years of. So but I feel it's it's advantage. What do you feel? So, if you look at any top B school, one of the prominent ways in which learning is imparted is through peer learning and the more diverse a class the more enhanced the learning becomes for everybody so everybody is on a lookout for a very diverse class but this does not mean that schools have quotas so they don't have quota for CAs or for lawyers or for very dancers for that matter so the rigor of selection because somebody mentioned a belly dancing yesterday that's where it's coming from so the rigor of selection will not vary depending on your profile. So if you if you have a 650 GMAT, that means the same for everybody. You can't say that I have 10 years experience, uh, so am I okay with the low GMAT? Or I am just 2 years experience, should I should I go for 750 plus? So as I said, everybody wants diversity, but you'll have to meet that basic benchmark. How many lawyers do you currently get in IIMs or ISB? So we do get a couple of lawyers at ISB every year. And uh, uh, if I recall correctly, the career opportunities for them later are into consulting, I banking, uh, mergers and acquisitions. And Mr. Menon would probably add more to it. Even my, my own experience of applying with lawyers, doctors, you know, different profiles has been pretty encouraging. Uh, military people, right? Colonels or major. How many years of work experience do they have before they apply? I mean, I think basic uh, two years is, I think, basic. Basic minimum, but then what has been the average? Yeah, and that can vary. What has been your experience as a you were you want to figure? I don't know. It's a very tough place, but I kind of want to have time. See, <laughs> I have been trying for the last 12 years without any success whatsoever to, ch to bring a change in the mindset within the Indian, I don't know, the MBA community. See, if you look up, if you look abroad, if you look at US, for example, okay. People find their, first of all, people find their own jobs, many of them at least two. Okay, so independent job search is very, very strong. In India, unfortunately, everybody expects job to be handed over to them on a platter on day one. And if you don't get a job by day three, the guy is completely desperate and dejected. The funny thing is, the guys who get jobs after day 15 and day 16 get much better jobs. See, see, this whole game here of couple of days and that's all over kind of a thing. If you can change the mindset, now look at, look at yourself, you are a lawyer, okay? No, I'm so sorry to interrupt, so I just asked you how many years of work next? I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I'll tell you that, okay, I'll tell you that. I'll come, I'll come. Not getting in jobs. No, 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 I'm coming into that uh, thing, okay? See, as a lawyer, uh, you bring in diversity, so every B school would like to have you because you are a diverse candidate. The number of years of experience, <laughs> number of years of experience is not a, a critical criteria out here. You can you can have a minimal experience because you bring in the diversity, the content, and uh, what is that, that's the two things there. So getting into an MBA school is not an issue at that point. I have a suggestion for you actually. I'm not sure if you are aware of this. 
Singapore is actually becoming the de facto arbitration center for cross border international business disputes. So, Singapore is actually a very interesting uh, location for you to consider. A lawyer and an MBA will be pushed in one for this.